Hello guys, Kuntal is back here again. Today I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS on your Raspberry Pi 4. Few months ago, Canonical added Raspberry Pi in their Ubuntu supports list. So, after a long time, Ubuntu is officially supported OS in our favorite Raspberry Pi computer. I don't have currently installed any heatsink or fan on my device. For that reason, I have installed Ubuntu 20.04 without any overclocking. So far, I can say it actually runs really good without any tweaking. But if you have proper cooling, then you can overclock your CPU for better performance. Let me first show you how to install Ubuntu 20.04 on your Raspberry Pi 4. If you don't need installation process, then you can skip this portion and check the full UI demo later in this video. I am actually running Ubuntu with Genome installed. But there are several different desktop variants that we can install in this system. For better performance, it is recommended to use a lighter desktop environment for Raspberry Pi 4. During the installation process, I will give you for different options so that you can install different desktop interface and experiment with which one is best for you on your Raspberry Pi 4. Keep in mind that most of the demo video was captured from my Windows PC using remote desktop application connecting to my Raspberry Pi. So it was a bit laggy. But if you connect to monitor, you will get a faster response time. If you are installing for the first time, I would definitely recommend using Ethernet connection. I am using Windows computer to complete this setup process. But you can do this on Mac, Windows or Linux operating system. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing first. I will place my SD card and a SD card reader onto my PC. It's a 64 GB micro SD card by Transcend. I would recommend grab at least 8 GB micro SD card. First, we need to download the Ubuntu image from Ubuntu web server. On Ubuntu's web server, you will find both 32-bit and 64-bit image. Here we have downloaded 64-bit version. On previous version, I had a bad experience with 64-bit. I keep getting crashes on 64-bit on Ubuntu 18.04. But as this is a brand new latest version, I will give this a try. I would suggest if you don't want any experiment, go with 32-bit. After downloading image, flash it with Raspberry Pi Imager or Balena Ager or similar software. You can download Flasher software from Raspberry Pi's official website. Now flash Ubuntu 20.04 image on your memory card. If you need overclocking, in this stage, you can do that by modifying config file. I will do that on a separate video and link that in my description. Because in this video, I want to all things as default setup. Now, after installing is completed, unplug micro SD card, plug it back on Raspberry Pi. You can hook HDMI cable for monitor and keyboard mouse if you wish. 
but that is not essential. You can either use monitor, keyboard, mouse or use another PC to connect via SSH terminal. So you can complete the setup process without having any monitor. So power on your Raspberry Pi. If you use monitor then it will ask you username and password to login. And if you don't use monitor then connect using SSAs from another PC. First you need IP address of your Raspberry Pi. You can find IP address from your router's control panel or using IPI scanner tool. Now use terminal PuTTY or similar software to connect via SSAs. Keep in mind that in this stage Ubuntu does not have any GUI. We will use this command prompt to install desktop environment later. So without talking too much, let's finish the setup process. By the way, I am planning to make several follow-up videos regarding Raspberry Pi and Ubuntu. I will make a playlist for Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more update about my future Raspberry Pi videos. So keep watching till the end.